Hello, I'm Joseph Napier, Sr. Welcome to downtown Youngstown, Ohio. Come with me as we travel up the Market Street corridor to 1833 Market Street, home of the South High School. In 1904, the Williamson Estate is purchased for $85,000. Building on the main part of South High School began in early 1909. Here's a picture of Charles Francis Owsley, the Owsley's architectural firm. The Owsley's built the Mahoney County Courthouse, pictured there to the left, and in the center of the year, at the Huntington Bank Building, was their offices located. Top High School opened on September 6, 1911, of course. In 1913, the north and south wings were added. You can imagine just the center section was built originally. South High School mascot. The Warrior. South High School colors are red and blue. Here's a picture of South High's varsity letter. First Warrior yearbook is pictured here. Back then they called them an annual, if you will. This is the earliest picture I have of one. In 1917, South was used as a hospital for the flu epidemic, the Spanish flu to be exact which lasts from 1917 through about 1919. In 1922, student enrollment reaches 2,100 students. 1923, the East Wing is added on. Here are pictures of more early annuals, as they were called then. In 1941, South High saluted students that went off to fight in WW2. Here's some 1940 students there, if you will. Deck to the nines, as I call it. The parents used to tell the kids that when they go to school, they should always be rehearsing for their first job interview. They were always on point. Here's a picture of South High students looking on. Probably was a biology class or typing class, one of those classes. Red and blue forever. Here's a picture of a varsity sweater jacket. Mine to be a fact, the letter there represents track and field. The age of the space race. A lot of people know the space race was between the United States and Russia. The Ivy years. During this time, Ivy grew up about a good two-thirds of the school, as pictured here. Here's a picture of a warrior picture, and it looks like a brave there if you ask me. It's a 1958 illustration. 1962. What can I say about this year? This is the year of my birth. So I would say this is my favorite yearbook. Here's a picture of a 1962 Corvette. Here's a 1965 illustration that was done by an art student. Here is another picture, a 1985 article in the Vindicator paying homage to honor students itself. The psychedelic generation has come on board the 1970s. All color we see. Have we made the evolution from black and white to color? Here's 1976, of course, picture. The coach, the lower left there, real quick pass, was uh, Coach Jim Zarlinga, my track coach. Picture of early t-shirt design. I would say this was the late 80s or early 90s. 1981. This is the year I graduated from my school. And this is my yearbook right here, to be exact. And there is a young picture of me at 18 years of age. This is uh, Valerie Perez, we got Anthony Slocum, and Deborah Nevels, respectively. Here's a picture of faculty, if you will. If you look far left, that's a picture of me and my track mates running the track. Class of 81, 1981 reunion, which was held in 1997. This would have made our 16th year. 
in tribute to those who have gone on. Uh, many warriors we have lost along the way. Here's a picture of me clad in my school colors and my buddy Ron. Here's her early signage. She is free will 1981, about October. Um, here's a picture here. The Youngstown South Nine, the infamous Youngstown South Nine, I call them. If you want to follow this YouTube feature, just come on YouTube and join me at Nape1962, and you'll be able to see that story in its entirety. Here at the South High Field House, which came online in 1939. 1990, this was the last yearbook I had. There again, an old familiar theme, red and blue. South closed its doors in 1993. A lot of people have always heard the phrase that nothing good lasts forever. This is the South High, if you will, association having their annual alumni dinner. It was a good time to be had by all. A lot of people came out to the event. It was a fun evening. South High Forever. There's a picture of students celebrating. The picture of the book up top there, you caught real quick. Celebrates academic achievement with honors, if you will. It's a scroll. And here's the front of the school. I just wanted to give a last good look at the school. Here's the east wing section I spoke of earlier, which piggybacked off the back side of the school. You can see it right there on the left hand side, playing off, you will, on the north side of the school as it cascaded around to the back. Um, South High had many exits and entrance points because as I mentioned earlier the school was well over 2,000 students in its heyday. South will live on in the hearts and minds of those who attended her. The last picture I have there. Here are some artifacts that was taken out of the showcase as you see there. Basketball and baseball are amply represented. I'd like to thank each and every one of you again for coming along with me on this alumni journey, if you will. I'm Justin Napier Sr. Here is um, our pledge, if you will. You can read along with us, if you will, as we make our pledge to our school that once we leave our school and go off into the world, we're going to take all the academics, if you will, learning with us into our lives in honor of our school. That's pretty much how it's wrapped up. This has been a NAEP 1962 film. There again is the scrolls of honor with a book that represents knowledge. I thank you for coming along with me, people. This is a tribute to the principals through the years. 1912, Charles Van Dyke. And as we scroll forward, once we get to 1976, you'll see Richard D. Vincennes. We affectionately called him Mr. D. Uh, Mr. D was my principal at my junior high school, which was an intermediate level. And for three years, from 7th, 8th, and 9th, and then I went on to South High to do 10th, 11th, and 12th. He was my principal again for three more years, a total of six years. So a tribute to the principals. God's continued blessings to each and every one of you.